Hey everyone, Tracy at Mystically Divine Tarot. How's everyone today? I hope you're all doing great. Welcome to my channel and welcome to today's daily tarot reading for Friday, February 10th. Please remember to like this video and also to subscribe if you haven't already. I greatly appreciate it. Appreciate you all being here as well. Wow, immortality again this week. Wow. Okay, we had uh, immortality earlier in the week here. Uh, a couple days ago, card number 22, something forever here. Could be possible twin flame connection we're talking about here. I uh, was definitely picking up on that uh, a couple days ago as well. A forever love, yeah, that was like a couple days ago. So the energy here coming through today, something to do with this situation possibly here. Feeling very generous and yeah, starting, yeah, really having new ideas for forward uh, thinking here, forward movement, really building abundance together is what I'm feeling here. Four of Pentacles, abundance, abundance has been in this, these energies as well this week. A lot of abundance coming through. Ace of Wands, yeah, having ideas, creative ideas, maybe together here. Common purpose, chariot, yeah, moving forward quickly toward it too as well. Yeah, shared purpose I just heard. So yeah, you could, this could be um, for sure uh, working together on something about, look at this, magician, yeah, wow. Manifest, this is about manifestation as well. Definitely manifesting something big into your lives today. Something that's going to stick around a while here. Something that is for the long term. Okay, this could be a couple together. Really building um, something for the future. Could be a business. Could be a home. Uh, could be a lot of different things here. But really manifesting something big here is what I'm feeling. Something that's going to stick around for a long time. Four of Pentacles. What is this about here? I was feeling abundance here. Again today with the Four of Pentacles. Three of Wands. Something you've really been waiting for. Broadening your horizons. Mm. Opening up to the possibilities. Okay. Wow. Yeah, the Ace of Wands is also about amazing opportunities. So there could be something, an opportunity coming your way here. A very abundant opportunity coming your way here. Let's see, Ace of Wands. What is this about? Wow, Eight of Wands. So communicating about that. Someone could be in communication about some sort of an opportunity could be receiving emails, things like that, calls. Hmm, something to do with your abundance though. Prosperity. Hmm, something you've been waiting for, broadening your horizons. What else? Let's see. Eight of Cups, Chariot. Make an emotional choice to walk away. Toward the sun. Mm. Forward movement is going to bring you happiness here. Moving forward. Moving away from one thing toward another is what I'm picking up. So this could be a move in location. This could be a change in a career, a job, a business, a relationship. But I'm feeling it's about financial abundance here. Something that's going to stick around for a long time. Definitely could be business. Like something to do with a job you've always wanted. A job you're passionate about with the Ace of Wands here. A career. A business you're passionate about. Something you've wanted to do for a long time. Magician, what is this about? Queen of Cups, being open and receptive to receive. Okay. Oh, this could be, okay. So this could be about what this communication is. Someone could be trying to um, give you abundance. So uh, give you money to start a business. 
help you start a business. Something like that. Some sort of funding possibly here. Being open and receptive to that. Allowing it to flow to you, okay? Um, for it to enable this forward movement. It's going to make you very happy when you do. It might be something you're not used to um, receiving here, okay? Um, but I feel like, yeah, there's going to be a need to be open and receptive to receiving here, okay? And I'm picking up for some of you here. This could be about your love life here as well. Hmm. Yeah, so for some of you here, I'm hearing that there's something about waiting on communication from someone about something to do with walking away from one thing towards another in your love life here. Again, could be about location. The chariot is about travel. Message is not really clear about the love department right now, but there is something coming through for sure. Uh, really wanting to manifest love. Opening your heart to love. Remaining open to love, sorry. Remaining open to love. Hmm. Yeah, not really getting too much, but something here is coming through. Um, again, you'll know if it fits your situation here. In love, we have this card here. So cute. I love these spirit cats. They're adorable. Cozy home. Yeah, so wow. Yeah, setting roots. This could be about even a down payment on a home. Maybe that's why the love thing came in right at the end there. Maybe this is about receiving money from maybe a family member, some sort of communication about funding. So maybe this is about a purchase of a home with your partner. Hmm. I'm not sure today, man. Wow, it's coming through, but it's coming through not very strongly. So that might just be for some of you. What else? Or if, if that's not about, if this isn't about love for you, uh, I feel here Cozy Home is saying that you're very um, comfortable and content in your living situation with your partner here or someone that you have interest in. Embrace. Beautiful. So, yeah. Tender embrace is what I just heard here. So, really um, feeling loved here is what I'm feeling. Embrace through each other, you find the missing pieces. So, with someone here, you're feeling very safe and content. Okay, could be this long term. Uh, I was feeling long term situation here in mortality. But I'm also feeling this is a long term thing. And a home would certainly be a long term thing. Take a breather. So, yeah, kind of relax through it. Um, try to remain calm. You might get super excited if this is about that here in your love life. If this is about, you know, someone helping you out with like a down payment on a home, you might get extremely excited. Um, broadening your horizons. Yeah, something you've been waiting for. It definitely could be a home for some of you. And that would definitely be long term as well. Maybe you're with your partner for a very long time or maybe you're just coming together with your twin flame and you're wanting to buy a house here and someone here is helping that situation. This definitely is about something abundance. Even if it is in your love life, I feel like it's something to do with the finances and someone possibly helping and you being open and, open and receptive to receiving here. Hmm. What else, please, for the general collective in love for Friday? Divine Matrix, wow. Yeah, Divine Matrix. You've escaped the Matrix, yeah. Yeah, this could be, uh, wow, card 44. We had card 22, card 44. All these master numbers coming out. Um, yeah, Divine Matrix, you've escaped the Matrix, okay? So really wanting to kind of like go off grid almost, like... Who cares what society thinks, okay? You just want to kind of live your life the way you want to. 
um, the way your soul knows you want to. And Divine Matrix could also be an indicator of a twin flame connection as well. Um, so again, this could definitely be about uh, coming together with the twin flame here. Or just moving forward to a new phase in your journey together here. Hmm. What else for the collective for Friday? <laughs> blessings yeah you're gonna feel extremely blessed here i'm telling you there's something here if this is about your love life there's something here abundance is gonna flow to you in regards to your life but i feel for some of you it is about your love life here something to do with your home life your stability in home cozy home what else for the general collective communication? There's that communication coming in. Uh, yeah, this is connecting this to the centerpiece. So definitely what I was feeling for some of you, it definitely is about your love life here in the middle as well. This could also be a, look at this, Yang. <laughs> yeah, this is the, the masculine energy and, you know, yin yang, the yang to your yin or vice versa. Um, but yeah, for some of you, I am feeling spirit is giving me this card here to show that for some of you, this is definitely about something to do with abundance in your love life. Um, this could be about your love life, manifesting love into your life, trying to remain open and receptive to that and also open and receptive to whatever this is here, this abundance that I feel flowing to you. Yang. So yeah, this person could complete the other half of you. You know what I mean? Like the yin to your yang or vice versa. Could really be feeling a lot with this person here. Uh, there definitely is a tender embrace and a cozy home. So feeling very safe and comfortable here is what I'm feeling. What else for the general collective? Death and rebirth. So something had to end for something new to begin, right? Um, maybe it's this feeling of not being open and receptive here, or maybe it's this whatever this walking away was um, for someone here. Look at this at the bottom, devoted. So yeah, feeling devoted to this situation and this connection is what I feel there. Um, this death and rebirth could have something to do with this walking away. Something in someone's life, whether it be, you know, a job, a, a location, a relationship, whatever it was. Um, having to walk away toward the sunlight, toward happiness, right? Leaving something behind, moving forward. So something having to end in order for this new beginning to manifest, right? All right, guys. Well, that is what I have for you for today, for Friday. I hope this reading was helpful. If it was, please give it a like and remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you tomorrow.